welcome to the History Hunter. Welcome to our adventures with the World War II time frame. History Hunter here. Eagle Eyes. Eagle Eyes, my son, yes, that's his nickname. And today, I think you're gonna enjoy what we're gonna show you because this is one very special German World War II location. And we're hoping that we can find something really special to share with you. So why don't you join us? And let's go out and find the path together right now. This place here is very, very exciting. Look at these old roads here that used to be, that the Germans used. They're not in use anymore, but once upon a time, they used them extensively for what you're gonna see here today. Beautiful day, very, very fortunate. This is on the last documents tour. And uh, I wanna thank each and every one of you who subscribe, comment, hit the notification, uh, the bell, all of that, because that really helps us to go out and find and share great history with you guys. Almost everything you're going to see here today is due to this young boy's remarkable ability to spot details. And what he spotted is absolutely fantastic. You know, he's so young, but he spotted one little detail that could help us to find this place. And uh, we go a little bit further. I'm going to share that with you. Right there where Eagle Eyes is standing, right there, there used to be something absolutely crazy. And what was that? Well, let me show you. What did you find, Eagle Eyes? Did you hear that you see these structures? Yes, this is what Eagle Eyes found on a little research mission he was on. He looked for ammunition storages, and then suddenly these images came up. And that is images of this massive, Munition depot that is just behind our back. We're not going in, into that area. We were just in the outskirts where there are no signs telling us anything. It's just a walk in the forest. So that's the only feature we're going to share with you from that place. But this is what caught Eagle Eyes' attention. And not only that, because this story is not actually about the munition storage where they had over 120 munition bunkers. They had a narrow trail, railroad track bringing in the munition and there were thousands upon thousands of tons of munition and German bombs here. But that's not the story, but this is where we're starting from. So why don't we continue this little explore here and let me tell you more. So this place here was massive, several square kilometers with munition bunkers and barracks absolutely everywhere you can see. So imagine several square kilometers with munition, a narrow railroad track, several dozens of German crew members guarding the place and they had a barrack compound outside this area and this was strictly forbidden absolutely top secret area and nobody could come in here so all of what you see in there is that huge ammo storage and uh Eagle he said he wanted to say something special to some of you thank you to all our patron supporters and people donators Absolutely, thank you to all of you Patreon team members. Thank you for being in there for us for this fantastic journey we're going to share with you. And thank you to all of you who donated something on the PayPal feature. That is greatly appreciated. The Germans expanded this area several times. So what you see right in front here is the third area that they expanded their munition storage into but it's very difficult to walk. There's so much trees and stuff, but they expanded this place like four times and they were expecting a fifth adjustment of the area, which just made this place totally insane. And you can see for how far that road here stretches fully down into the horizon there. The sun is actually going to start to set now. So we are in a bit of a hurry in here. The Germans had so many structures, as I said, they were so little known until after the war. And then they realized how much munition the Germans has, had stacked up here. And believe me, there is nothing you can see in this area of the forest, but there were more than 25 uh, munition barracks that was put up here, just in this area here alone that you see. 
and there, there's nothing left. Some places you can see some small bricks, foundations and all of that, but the forest has taken over. But there's something the forest cannot hide and that is one very special image that was taken and uh, I'm going to show you that. Let me show you what this was all about. The Germans installed and built an incredibly large bomb and munition storage in this forest here. It's a huge area, there were forests before as well. The Germans found out that this is the right place for us to install and store a lot of the bombs for the Luftwaffe activity in this region, but also regular munition. It's so big that they had a train coming in delivering all the munition and bombs from harbor cities and from Germany. They ran up to this location and they put the uh, first there were preliminary storages and then the train left and then a narrow railroad track system took over and distributed all the munition that came in to more than 120 different munition bunkers in this complex and that is basically the main kind of backstory of what's going to happen next in our little explore here so you know germans had this installment huge bomb ammunition storage more than 120 bunkers were installed and each and every bunker had that uh, type of capacity of the bombs and munition and trucks coming in trains coming and going so now you know a little bit more about it so this is where it starts to get interesting. You can see thousands of bombs. So imagine every one of these 120 bunkers, they had the capacity to store either 60, 250 kilo German Luftwaffe bombs. So let's see what happened here. The Germans stored a lot of Luftwaffe bombs here due to this was a center point between four of the German Luftwaffe airfields. And I read some reports that stating that they could have 60. Maybe you could do the math, Eagle Eyes. 60 times 250. What is that? 15,000. 15, he did it without a calculator. So in each bunker of the 120 bunkers, there was at least 15,000 kilos. 15 ton, if I'm not correct, wrong, in each of these. And they also had many of the bunkers with 500 kilo bombs. They could store 45 of them, if I'm not too mistaken. Then again, so if you have 15 ton in one and you uh, multiply that with 10, that's 150. And if you times 100, that's 1500. That makes it that the Germans had more than a couple of thousand tons of bombs and munition here. And can you imagine how much that is? But our big question came after a very specific photo that Eagle Eyes found. Let me show you that. Shall we show them the image you found, Eagle Eyes? Yes, we should do that. Yeah, and ladies and gentlemen, this is where Eagle Eyes' story comes in to play. Tell them what we have here, Eagle Eyes. What are these? That is German bombs. German World War II aircraft bombs. And I see millions of what is going on here. Hand grenades. It seems like different kinds of hand grenades. It seems like we can see some flak munition. This is what we're looking for. Eagle Eyes found that image and he said, Daddy, where is this? And then the process of more than three days of research in the evening started for me in Eagle Eyes. And that is specifically what we are trying to see here. We want to see if we can connect the dots between what the Germans had here on this massive, massive storage, but also, is it possible to figure out what this is all about? Well, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about that when we walk along here, and then it's just gonna be so exciting to see if we can find proof of what we're gonna tell you. So to find out more about this, we have to go over here and we have to see if we can find one very, very special location that we hope are still here. That is higher ground. We are going down to lower ground. And what happened here is what we're gonna try and puzzle together. 
When the Germans were here, they had, as I said, thousands on thousands of rounds and bombs. And after the war, that is when we think that image has been taken. It seems like they are destructing the German World War II munition that used to be here. And we are hoping to see if we can find exactly where that happened, because we have some other information as well that we don't have with us right now that has told us that this could actually be the exact, exact place, but we have worked so incredible hard to find this location. And it took us several days with research before we can even try to start to pinpoint this position here. So uh, it's gonna be exciting to see if we're right. This is specifically one single image that we have available that actually is gonna solve our puzzle here today because this, is a actual photo, aerial photo, showing exactly where the ammunition were blasted, where they demolished and destroyed all of the ammunition that the Germans had in this area. So what we're looking for first are these smaller kind of dugouts here. We think these are blast areas where they actually blasted the ammunition and then at this huge, huge area here, that is where we think one of the or oh, these images taken. We have some other images as well, but as, as I said, we don't have them. So first, we're going to see if we can spot these positions here. Um, we think we are somewhere. I'm not even sure where, where we are. I think we are somewhere here or something. So we're going to see if we can find something that looks like you know, holes in the ground. Today, I haven't got a clue if that is correct. Even this one here, it could be difficult, but we do have a hunch that we think that is something we can find. So that is exactly what you see. This is an image of what took place here. And our mo most exciting thing is, is this possible to find artifacts just by walking around here today to see did this happen here? If we can find even the tiniest little artifact of something that could be related to the World War II and the German weaponry and the arsenal here, that is like, that would be a, a match for us. <laughs> Eagle Eye said, Daddy, maybe we can actually spot something laying around. Because if they blasted it, this area is massively big. There could be things just laying around, but I really don't know. There is something, Eagle Eyes. Wow. Eagle Eyes, that's actually metal. Metal. Could that really be something from that? Or is it some kind of farmer stuff? That is really interesting, guys. I really cannot make out what that is. Pretty heavy, actually. Okay, we have one part. You can keep on, hold on to that, Eagle Eyes. Let's see more. Yeah, Eagle Eyes spotted one more piece. Let's take it up and see what it is. Is it the same kind of material? Is it heavy? No, it's heavy. Yeah, it is heavy to be that small. What is that? Are we really onto something here? Keep hold hold on to that, Eagle Eyes. What is that? Oh, I was hoping for some brass. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think that, that feature was that we found? A machine gun or guard position. Yeah, we think that there's a machine gun guard position on the top there. That had nothing to do with what we're looking at now. That guarded the munition storage, we think. But we're gonna keep on looking here. So far it hasn't been so successful, but you know. We are in good faith here. Oh my goodness, this place is so huge. It is unbelievable. But guess what, guys? See here? That is a freaking crater. But we don't know whether that is a, uh, a uh, bomb crater from allies trying to bomb this place or whatever. But the eagle eyes, see here? I can actually spot. Is that metal? That is metal. Are you kidding me? Look here, Eagle Eyes. Oh, look at that. Big boy. Wow, that's got to be something here. 
definitely something here. Look at that. What is that? Ah, uh, could still be some farmer stuff, but hey, at least there are metal pieces here. Could really, what we see here, could that really be one of the first blast zones? Let's bring up the paper here, Elias. Eli says he think it's one that is not in our image, or it could be. Is it this one you said? Yeah. Yeah, but we have to do some more investigations here and see if you can find the tiniest little item that looks like that we can really identify. That would be so exciting. There are some huge pieces here. And when they blasted, they used the, the bombs to blast all the rest of the stuff. So. I think there is nothing, nothing here that hasn't been blown up because <laughs> they used thousands and thousands of kilos of this to blast it, it seems. That's a huge, doesn't look like military stuff if you ask me, but it could be. Could be a, a casing for a artillery shell actually. Yeah, it could very well be. Okay, we're going to continue. Wow, that has got to be some sort of artillery shell end or mortar end because I can see threads there. I think we actually found the first of these you know blast areas. Is that really one of the pieces of what happened in that instant little moment? Okay we're gonna definitely look for more here. This is getting really exciting. Oh my goodness. E there's a reason for eagle eyes being named Eagle Eyes. He has eyes like an eagle right there. Ladies and gentlemen, that is almost unbelievable. Before you start chiming about this being dangerous, blah, 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 blah. This is not dangerous. This is a electronic, like a condensator piece. And it's actually a German World War II bomb detonator. Maybe you can hold it up here. As I said, it is definitely, definitely not dangerous. I have found tons of them before. This was put inside, not, not this one, because this tube was actually integrated into the bomb cavity. And this little piece here was put inside and that decided what type of blast this um, bomb would have, what type, if it should go into the ground and stay there for a while and then explode or explode over ground, whatever. So it's like a condensator electronic thing that could charge and in that way that would do something for the type of bomb drop they had. That is one heck of a find and that really tells us, yes, this is exactly what we're looking for. Are you kidding me? Just want you to see this. These are the bomb detonators. As I said, they're not dangerous. We have chopped them up with the band saws. We've opened them up, we checked them out. I found dozens of them before. But you can see here, the type it says here, AS and uh, 7B. Now this is AS25. And some of them even have dates on them. As I said, this electronic unit, there used to be a, a secondary kind of uh, feature here, backlight thing. And even, let me show you, see here, has this text, the German text. So these are taken off, these are just protective covers. And that is the proof that this is the absolutely 100% correct position where one of the largest blasts of the Second World War kind of time frame was being set off by the Allies forcing the Germans to destroy their own bombs and actually several thousand tons of munition were blasted right here. Let's continue this little dive into the past and see what more we can find here. Eagle Eyes, your research paid off. Let me show you the connection here. These are the German World War II bombs without the tail piece. That will be here. And then that is one of the bomb detonators. 
used to be inside one of these and look at all the munition and all of that so what they did they filled these trench these holes with the uh, munition tons and tons of you know 20 millimeter hand grenades artillery shells all of that they put a ton of bombs on top buried it with sand set it afire almost and then boom everything just got trashed mm. but to see that this young boy's interest for one specific image led to the proof of what happened here and these guys are most likely the germans themselves who had to clean up this mess and they had to put do all of this work and god knows if many of these would die in doing these tasks i don't know but that is one absolutely incredible connection in time i think and that's what it's all about that's what we do we do travel we do the research we go out and do hours after hours out here and to find a connection like this that is pure magic but we're going to find more so come on that most likely is the back end yeah it's definitely looks like a puck or anti-aircraft gun maybe 3.7 centimeter or even bigger that's the that's a artillery shell casing you see that it's blasted open and the uh, igniter used to be there wow that looks crazy eagle eyes we did find the three pods and uh okay let's see if we can find more it'd be so cool so you can see if we find something with a date or something huh yeah. yep definitely this is uh, a lid for a um uh, i'm seeing it so many times i can't remember what it is yeah something like that and then Eli found this thing here heavy duty we think that's a piece of the uh, you know the bomb detonator tube going into a oh, bomb Eagle Eyes, I just spotted something that could tell us really much a date see here right there that is uh, look at that that is definitely a German round has been blasted and we're going to see if we can clean that in the back and Eagle is going to make a little effort to see if there's a date here that is a 792 round that's been smashed and crashed there wow that is powerful because that's what we came for we found that tiny little image and by some research we are out in the absolutely wilderness here and yes we did find the exact position where this took place wow that's a confirmation it says nine uh, it says 44 and then on this side it says 18 so it's definitely german 792 round right there that is such an incredible find you guys we are in the third circle the first circles see that that is astonishing it's unbelievable that you can actually see a photo of something going on and happening during the first days after the war, you can see the German troops there working like crazy to blow up their own munition that was supposed to hit the enemy, which are the Allies, the British that came and took that place away from them. And it is unbelievable to see that that connection is right in front of us here. You don't even have to dig for it. And no, we're not taking anything of this with us. It's just going to stay here. But it's such an incredible thing to see that this ground is alive it's like everywhere and to find that specific little moment there's another one of the bomb detonators see that i have several of these that i found at the luftwaffe airfield i brought them to a uh, aircraft museum they verified that everything is safe and that they are genuinely pieces i gave some of them to the museum i still have some of them so pretty pretty cool to see that this little journey is paying off and i'm looking so much forward to see if we can find the complete little amount that we're looking for look at that this one is not dangerous it's been smashed crashed and everything see that there's another 792 just imagine being out here when they blew up all of this there would be shrapnel for kilometers around here believe me there will be four kilometers around here and that is 
Wow, that speaks volume. That speaks a lot just by itself, huh? Don't you think? All right, so we spent the last hour trying to find this hole here. And Eagle Eyes went all the way up to a hill, actually climbed a little tree. And he says he can see some massive, massive holes in the terrain. And that could very well be the spot. Because that looks like it's several meters high. And that could actually be the position that we're looking for. So we're going to go over there. Oh my goodness, a lot of working involved here. But we are getting close to something. We can actually see a massive hole here. So is that one of the big ones that we've seen in the photos, you think, Elias? Yeah, maybe. It could really be. Okay, let's figure it out. Oh my lord. This really looks like it could be it. And Eagle Eyes found something absolutely spectacular. This is not apart from a bomb detonator. This, this is something else. But uh, I'll see if I can decipher that later. Nevertheless, look at this. I think this is one of the huge blast holes. And it's still here. And if you take a look just down here, see that? That is the end of another artillery shell, it seems like. And it's all over. It's just like someone blasted this right a few days after the war. They blasted it, the Allies came in and they blasted everything. Now to the last, last, last cartridge. They blasted absolutely everything. And Eagle Eyes is, oh, look here. That is a, um, see what that is? That's a signal flare. And yeah, one, two, Look at that, definitely the right spot. This is rounds that's been blown up. 792s, you have a single flare. You have this thing here. Oh, that's a 20 millimeter anti-aircraft gun. So let me show you, just in my hand here, you have a single flare. 792 munition for either K98 rifle, could be for MG42, 34, even for a machine gun in an aircraft, and then 20 millimeter, that is this gun here. And this little thing. And another one for the single flares. Oh my goodness. How is that possible to come here so long after and everything is just right here? That is spectacular. These were the guys who put the bombs and all the munition inside there. Many, many years later, a young boy sees a photo and he says, Daddy, what is that? And then he digs into it and then he decides that this is one of his missions. And I think, Eagle Eyes, your mission was a full success. Yeah, it was. Yeah, don't you think? And we think that this right here was taken here. This is the deepest one that we found. And the image could very well be from right here. And to be able to go back in time like this, to come to this location and see that this young boy's quest for a little photo actually turned out to be exactly what you see here. Munition that the Germans used that the Allies made them destroy and that is one heck of a story and i have to say eagle eyes congratulations you did a very good job very very proud of you and uh, that's one heck of a little story guys due to one image like that eagle eyes research paid off so well and brought us to that incredible location and if you want to help us out to reach more incredible locations and share more incredible stories with you. You know, we have this little super thanks feature here. That is basically your opportunity to help us out to just put some gas into the fuel tank of the camper van, go out and find and share even more incredible stories with you. This German World War II bomb ammo storage is just a tiny little piece of the World War II history, but we found it. We found it together with you and we shared this amazing story. And when you see these bomb detonators and you see that image there, you do connect the dots between the past and the present 
and that is our honor and pleasure to be able to do. Thank you so much for being a Patreon team member. Thank you for subscribing, commenting, hitting, not hitting the notification bell, the thumbs up. All of that helps us out to go out and find and share even more history. And believe me, Eagle Eyes, my son, he works so hard for this story here. And uh, I'm just amazed to see that it all came together. But we will definitely be out there with more in the very, very near future. So until then, just please stay safe, keep smiling, and never forget that history is actually everywhere. Bye.